Hey guys, this is Zach here. Um, another YouTube, or uh, another Python tutorial. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, my last tutorial I showed you how to uh, install Python in Sublime Text Editor 2. Uh, both of those were pretty easy to do, I think. If you did have any problems, you can uh, message me or comment on that video. But uh, today I'm going to actually start showing you some of the basics of uh, Python actual programming. So uh, let's start by opening up your Sublime Text Editor 2 or the uh, Python Interpreter, whichever you prefer. The uh, idle, the Python Idle. I mean, not the Interpreter, uh, which is right here. Uh, you should have the IDLE or Idle when you install Python, but it's in my opinion um, text editors like Sublime or Notepad++ plus uh, plus those things are usually um, better so I don't I tend to stay away from the Python idle most of the time but uh, anyway so today I'm going to show you a few things I'm going to show you how to print things out to the screen uh, which you have actually already done in the last video I showed you the hello world program which is just what I have right here print hello world this is how you print things out to the screen but um, I'll talk about that more here in a second and I'm also going to show you how to get input from your user and how to uh, how to create variables so uh, I may get a little bit more in depth. We'll see how the time goes for it. But anyway, so we'll start out with the printing to the screen. To print things out to the screen, you use Python's built-in print function. Now, to uh, before I get ahead of myself, I'll tell you what a function is if you don't already know. A function is um, something like uh, it's a it's pretty much instead of writing so much code over and over and over you have a function that can do all of that uh, now functions can take parameters which are what you put in the parentheses all functions start like this when you call them you say function well function and then the parentheses if you ever see something parentheses like that that is a function now for the print function it takes uh, a parameter here whatever you want to print to the screen in our case up here it was hello world so uh, you can print anything you want to just you have to uh, for print you have to have it in quotation marks because that is a string now a string is any uh, is all of your characters such as your your letters your numbers your symbols on your keyboard all of those those are all uh, characters and a string is just a it's just made up of characters now strings you can start with double quotes or single quotes so up here we can say this is a string now we can build this and there it is this is a string now uh, there are a couple other things that you can do in print besides just simply printing out that now there are escape codes which you use the backslash in now the key thing to remember is you put these inside your quotation marks you don't put them outside you put them inside so uh, there are a few of them that you should probably remember such as the new line which is backslash in and basically that will create it's the same as if you're if you press enter while you're typing but in Python you can't just press enter like that it'll I mean it's just wrong it it'll throw an error here I'll I'll show you what it says uh, this is a string um, and a new line now you see you can see already that it's going to be an error alright EOL error while scanning so uh, we can't do that, but what we can do is put backslash in or escape new line uh, and a new line. Now we can build it 
and you'll see and a new line prints on a new line so uh, that's that's one now we can also say if you were uh, printing if you want to print the directory of something like a folder and location then you could you would need to use those backslashes but if you tried putting in backslash like uh, users Zach or something like that then it's not gonna work see if we'll try to build this you get all the you get Unicode errors so the way you need to put a backslash in is put two of them so what this does is it's escape backslash so it tells a Python uh, interpreter it says okay the next character after this don't don't act like it's uh, what you would normally think of it as so it's saying okay uh, the next character or not it's not going to interpret as an escape character but just a simple backslash character so you could say that Zach uh, and now we could print it and you'll see it prints it like we want it to look uh, let's see there are uh, you can also um, add strings or um, here if you have print hello my name is you could add with the addition sign uh, Zach now we could build that hello my name is Zach so you can um, you can add strings together like that and you can also uh, you cannot subtract strings though so if you wanted to say hello minus Zach it's it's just not going to work it's okay so um, there's another way that you can do that you don't have to use plus signs you can also use a comma but um, when you use a comma it also puts in a space between the two things that you're concentrating here so if you put hello Zach like that it's even though I don't have a space before Zach or space after hello that comma will automatically put one so now you can see hello Zach right here um, okay so I think that's that's covered quite a bit for the print for now I may show you a couple other things that you you kind of learn with the print function later such as uh, how to kind of um, incorporate variables into it uh, using various methods but um, we're going to move on now to the input so if you want to get input from your user um, you would use the function input now I'm not going to be able to do this like normally in Sublime you'll see it will not let you use the input function because you can't type down here in your build thing so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to uh, locate this file and I'll just double click it okay so uh, let me see it's in my hard drive Python 33 uh, testing I have a lot of uh, testing things <laughs> alright it's so youtube.py now you'll see hello world now you see there's just a blinking thing that I can type in it may not look very uh, special at the time but that's the input now if we go back to this we can put inside the input function we can put a, a parameter of what we want to say before it so we can put like enter your name the yeah. semicolon to make it I mean a colon to make it look nice so I'll just save that like pressing control s and now I'll run this and it says enter your name and you would build it enter your name and that kind of thing now it's still pretty much useless so far but that's where um, variables come in so say you want to do what we're doing right now and you want the user to give their name you can start you can uh, define a variable just by typing in the name of whatever you want your variable to be named so if you wanted a, vari a variable to be called uh, my name or my variable whatever 
um, for variable names you cannot have a space and you it you can but it's looked down upon to uh, start variables with a capital letter because uh, normally that's what classes do so and we'll talk about those pretty far down the line but, um, so you want your variables to be lowercase and use underscores instead of spaces alright so we're gonna store this input in a variable called name and now we want to print use the print function we can print name now if we'll go and run our program hello world enter your name Zach and then if you and whenever you run it like that it wants to make the window disappear really quick so I'm gonna put another input function to keep it from disappearing just so that we can uh, read the things so in your name Zach so you can use the print function to print variables like that now if you'll remember when I said you could add strings together that's where this will come in so if you want to make this look nice and you could say hello plus name and then after the name you want to say plus uh, mm, uh, we can just say hello hello Zach or hello name so we'll go and run this now enter your name hello Zach alright so uh, that's that's about it for today's video I know I kind of stretched it out long I didn't mean to take up this much time explaining these things but there's just so much more that we could go into on these really simple functions but um but we'll have to work on those later as we get to them or as we need them but uh, for now remember that print and input for a long time at least are going to be some extremely useful functions where you'll use them all the time so uh, that's today's video and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you stay tuned and